Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what time it is, man. The all new Spotlight Wednesdays going down right now. Speaker Leakers Radio, man. Right here, sitting right here with Jasmine three times. What up, Jazz? What up? What you been up to this weekend, man? What's going on? Ooh, the hotel party. How was the hotel party? Woo! Once in a lifetime, that shit was fire. <laughs> okay, okay. Guess what, y'all? Like we always said, man, we got a special guest online right now. Goes by the name of the known, the renowned Head Crack. What up, Crack? Yo, peace and love, man. Shout out to the speaker leakers. Oh what's man, up? what's up with it, bro? Shit, we ain't had you on here in a long time, man. It's been about a, it's been about a year. It's been about a year since we started out in the show. Everybody got a little taller in the last year. Some of y'all look wiser. You know, it's good to see the growth, man. I love it. Definitely, definitely, man. Also, man, let, for all the fans out here who don't know who Head Crack is, let them know who Head Crack is. Man, listen, I am a beast of human skin. Um, there's a lot of things I do, man. It's radio, there's TV, but man, I'm here to tell you about this music today. And uh, I got a new project out right now called Action Park. It's 10 action pack records. You can get it right now wherever you stream your music. Definitely, definitely, man. We heard about that project, man. Um... How did this project come about? You know, they say you're used to you being a, a radio personality, a uh, host, a show, podcast player. How did the a uh, action part come about? I mean, the thing is, the biggest misconception is that I'm a radio dude, but I'm actually an MC first and a radio dude second. You know what I mean? I just happen to be a rap dude who's on the radio. I'm not a radio dude who raps. You know what I mean? So this is just really me just putting everything to the side and be like, all right, cool, let me get back to what makes me happy and just, you know, drop music for the people then. So that's the energy. Definitely, definitely, man. Um, so you started out as an MC before you even hit the radio, right? Yeah, so what used to happen, like, back in the days, even back when I was in high school, I would call these different radio stations that we have these rap battles on the air, and I would, like, win so much that they would have me just come up to the station to get my prize. They was tired of like shipping stuff to me, right? So between point A and point B, I started meeting people. And then I did a weird pivot and got a job in the record business being a promoter, right? And then when a new station came in town in the city, I was living in at the time, they needed DJs. So, you know, me and my buddies returned to the tape. And next thing you know, they was like, yo, we love the tape. We want you to do a nice show. And then the radio thing happened. So all the while, I was still working on music and doing stuff, but... You know, it would just be like make attention what so this is actually like my first actual album album. Man. So out of all the years that you've been rapping, this is your first one you dropping? Yeah, I mean, because I did features, you know, I did rap with my group the Both Danger Brothers, and everything else was just me trying to like, you know, perfect the marketing strategies of releasing music. And the crazy thing is the strategies change all the time. So like the sciences I was applying back then aren't even the same sciences that you apply to releasing a project in 2021. It's a lot more, it's a lot more angles and avenues to do it. So, you know, it was cool to be able to like experience those processes, but you know, I, I'm out now. I'm ready to have some fun. I'm ready for people to go on this ride with me on Action Park. Definitely. Go ahead. Oh well, yeah, Trey, cool, man. Um, coming back now and really just trying to drop are you ready for the negativity that's going to come along with it? You know, going from radio back to MCN, you know how that's going to go. Um, no, nah, not really, because here's the thing. Like, it's, I've been doubted my whole life, and I've built the whole career off of just proving people wrong. You know what I mean? Like, you can take your favorite MC and put him in front of me, and I'm going to eat him in front of you. I will, like, actually <laughs> take his heart. I will bite it into it like a peach. And drip his bloody heart juice all over his chest. And then, like, wipe my knuckles on his shirt as I look at the gaping hole in his heart. Because I'm an animal. This right. is what I like to do. See, like, radio is all about being a fan of the people and being humble. But me and my, like, natural element of, like, rhyming and MCing, like, yo, I'm an animal and I, I'm not to be played with. I'm not here for play play. I'm I started excited. out as a battle rapper. I learned how to make, like, records oh, and songs wow. along the way. And I'm here to just show this off for the world, man. And hopefully there's some records on there that you can connect with and, um, you know, and pull a feeling or emotion out of you, man. So, like, you know, I'm Wait, here to be a, 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 a MC of all seasons. You said you was a battle rapper? Yeah, so not like in the traditional format <laughs> where people do it now. But like, hey, I know I'm going to battle you in three months. So let me prepare for, like, you know, like freestyle battle rap yeah. tournaments, things like the that. S like, you know, where, like, it starts out the night with, like, 16 MCs. 
16, go to 8, 8, go to 4, and then the last two standing, just go for it off the top of the dome. It was a different, you know, it was a different era back then, but I definitely yeah. respect what people do now. No, I want to hear that. That's so you telling me you would, if you weren't on the radio, you would be in the UFC. I mean, not the UFC, the, uh, what's that league? The uh, URL. URL. You know what? If I had that level of time, I totally would. Because the thing is, the level of preparation that goes into what those URL dudes do and the cats that be on, like, you know, Don't Flop and all those other battle leagues, for a lot of them, that's the only thing that they do. Like, the guys that are really good at it, the women who are really good at it, they, that's all they do. So, like, that's something you got to be able to really lend your whole entire energy to. I can't even front like I got that kind of time to invest <laughs> in somebody else. Right, I've my you. life because right. I have so many other things in trouble. But I, I always get a kick out of watching it, though. Definitely. Yes, sir. We about to get it. We about to get it. But that's no. not to say that if I'm at a show and somebody's trying to call me out for the crowd, that like you know what I'm saying, like like right then and there, I can't. You know, I won't give you something just raw off the top. You know what I mean? Because like it's still a competitive sport. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like I don't have to prepare for certain people. Like some things you just got to be ready to just kill them with the spontaneousness. So I mean, you. It sounds like you're from the 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 heart of hip hop, that generation, that that era, you know. So, who were some of your earlier influences in that? Oh man, like I mean, everybody from LL Cool J to Andre 3000 to Nas, Slick Rick, Biggie, Easy E, Ice Cube. I mean, even the new guys that's out there killing it right now, like the J. Coles of the world, the J.I.D.s. I mean, like, I find inspiration in everybody from every generation. Because it's almost like a baton sword. Like, a lot of these artists got it to a certain point. Then somebody takes the baton and take it further. I don't know how, like, far back your listeners go. At one point, Tom, there was, like, a rapper by the name of Kelly Bell who took the baton from the Sugar Hill Gang and brought it further in. And they got the baton snatched from him from, like, guys like L.O. Cool J and Red DMC. So... I respect it all, man, you know, and, you know. So how do you feel like... There's so many people out there getting to it. It's a lot to sift through, but there's still some people who are shining bright, who are dope that inspire me now that are new. So how do you think this generation at, um, equals out to the the uh, the essence of hip-hop? Because I know you, you got that big New York in you. How do you think this generation is holding down as opposed to back then, lyrically? I think this generation is more fearless, and I think this generation has, I mean, and, and I'm not saying this for every MC in this generation, but I feel like in totality, I think this generation has a lot more to say than the previous generation. Because, like, look, we, we're living in the information age for real, for real. We used to say we was in the information age, but now we can get information faster than we ever could before. So you're seeing a lot of, like, artists come out and have a really diverse palette of things to say. Like, look at somebody like Lil Baby, who we thought was going to peak with wham, 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 bitch on the baby. But, like, no, he, like, got even better. And, like, it became, it, it spit even more. And then dropped a bigger picture. So, to see somebody who, like, said the first thing to go on and say something that ended up becoming an anthem for a civil rights movement, that's just a testament of how diverse this new generation is. I felt like a lot of the old school artists, they like, you know, some of them, they were only really to paint in a couple of notes. Yep. Even though you had like a more diverse artist in totality, but you're finding more artists these days, I think, capable of painting way more pictures and being more diverse than they do it, you know, overall. Definitely, definitely. Well, we're going to play this song real quick. We're going to be right back with you. This is Head Crack 107.9, The Morning Hustle. We're going to get all into that right now, but we're going to play a song real quick. We'll be right back with you. Speaker Leakers Radio, let's get it. Yeah, it's your birthday, yeah, it's your birthday, ooh, 
with your birthday. Bought her and a friend some drinks because they had some Thursday. Pull up on the south of this, take 480 to Broadway. I'm dark skinned nigga and I do it for the hoes. I ain't rude to bang and prove a little bitch, I do the most. Hey, flip the city, booty. Flash right now, big moose. Huh? Big moose. Huh? There, man, that was Splash Rob. New music from Splash Rob called Right Now. We back right now, man, live with my man Head Crack. Head Crack, action pack. How many How many uh, records you have on this already? All right, so yeah, the project Action Park, man, 10 songs streaming wherever you're getting your music from. And, um, you know, I want to just come through with something like, you know, like all killer, no filler. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, I don't want to hit you with 20 joints straight off the top, man. Let me just get you the 10 piece real quick. Definitely, definitely. Is it um, is it more going down? Like you said, you was you would be a, a battle MC. Is it more of a battle MC? Is it more like an industry artist across this album? No, I mean, I think, you know, this is a picture of everything that I am, man. You know, like, yo, I'm a storyteller. So, like, this album really consists of a lot of just, you know, stories. And just adventures that I, you know, I've been on in the last few years. And there's a couple like, you know, bragging those your records about like, yo, is me spitting. But like, really, man, it's a bunch. It's about a bunch of stories and moods, man. Like, you know, I always compare this album to an amusement park, but a dangerous one. Like that roller coaster that you know you <laughs> get off and then your back hurt, or that uh, uh, that one like you know crappily put together Ferris wheel that you ended up getting cut on. It makes an interesting star a uh, scar and it gives you a great story to tell when you get off of it. So, like, you know, that's kind of like the reflection of this project, man. It's like a series of rides with various danger levels. So how many tracks did you actually, you know, sift through to actually come with the 10 that you got now? Oh, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I would probably say something along the lines of maybe, like, I don't know, there might have been, like, 17 records in the original version of the Action Park. But, you know, between point A and point B, these people's attention span got a lot smaller between point A and point B. God bless the dead, my man right. going and read is like, yo, as dope as all this is, ain't nobody got time for all that B. Like, yo, you need to just give people records that they can just just sit back, smoke one, chill and listen to. And, you know, so I had to like whittle it down. I had to retool a few records and, and get to this point. And you know, Garnett Reed ended up passing away like like, you know, right in the middle of me completing this project. And uh, but his energy is all over this man, and uh, and I'm glad so because he's right. Because I'm a, I'm my biggest critic, and I still have been listening to this project like it's not mine. How long was that process to get down to that ten? Maybe a month or two. Man, shoot, they always say you've been working on your first album your whole life. So <laughs> I feel like I've been working on this this project my whole life, bro. Um, you know, so many demos, so many records. With people that are, are, are famous and popping now that I just felt didn't match the tone of energy of this project that ended up not making it. And hopefully y'all hear these records, you know, probably hopefully within the next 12 to 14 months or so. But, you know, there was just a lot of records that 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 were recorded for the process, but just weren't told enough to ride this ride. Definitely. I got two questions for you before we get into Action Park. Um... How important is it to ha actually over, you know, overdo songs just to come down so you can eliminate songs for the project one? And number two, it, how important is it knowing that you're a radio on air personality and you listen to a lot of music? Are you in agreement with the one verse hook type of songs that they're doing now? Because you said the attention span is real small now. Are you in, in agreement of the one hook or the two verse and two hooks? Or are you still, like you said, we come from the storytelling age. Are you still with the three, the three verses and the three hooks? I mean, I think that varies from record to record. I mean, some songs you hear, you feel like, you know what, I said everything I needed to say in a verse. 
you know, suddenly that happens unless the verse is like 20 bars or more, right? Right. But sometimes you feel like, nah, I gotta like, like two or three verses here just to really paint the entire picture. Um, if you get stuck in a formula, your music will start to sound very formulaic or formulaic, if you will. But if you just take your songs from the heart, you know when you're done. You know if you need a second or third verse. You know if you need a hook. You know if you need a feature. And you really just got to listen to your, 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 your inner monologue and figure that out. Okay, so the point. I, I bet some of your favorite artists probably have demos and alt versions of records that you hear now that are drastically different from the point that we got to now. Like, there's a record on the project called The Life. Right. The energy that I was going into that song with was completely different than what y'all got to hear. And sometimes you have to kind of demo these things out and troubleshoot and be like, you know what? Maybe the second verse is now the first verse. Maybe I need to say this thing a completely different way. So you'll know when it's right. It's almost like a chef. No food to be served. And you know when it's still like cold. Middle of definitely, definitely. This uh, this record right here, Action Park. How did it come about? Can you hear me? Yo, so the record Action was probably like one of the second to last songs I did this project. Um, and I felt like you know I, I touched on the storytelling on this project. I, I you know I did something for the ladies. Uh, I did some for the MCs, I did some for the smokers, and I felt like I needed motivational gym music. Most of the music I listened to, I listened to in the gym or during my commute somewhere. So I needed a record on it that was going to help you get some extra reps in and something just to give, you know, the hustlers and everybody that's like striving for some hope. And that record is Action, you know, the title track of Action Plus. Definitely, definitely. So we're going to get into this record right now. Introduce your record to the people. Yo, here it is, man. Speak a leak is world, premiere, 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 she man had crap. This way right here is called Action off my album Action Pop, which is available right now, man. Shout that by the shape in their dreams. Run faster than your dreams to compete up there, right? Let's get into it. Speaker, we speaker, we speaker, we speaker. Y'all acting like I ain't here for a reason or something. Everything I ever loved has been touched. Tapping with, destroy left behind. So what does a wounded animal do when he's backed up in a corner? He wild out, spraying the action. No cap, all truth, like a toddler's tooth. Let's get it loose. I knew that I had the juice ever since that nigga killed through Bishop off the roof. I'm the proof that they put in the button. Made it do all the things that they said that I couldn't. Put my foot up in the new whip. Bullshit. Look at it throttle. Gotta do it today. We ain't promised tomorrow. Used to drown in my sorrow. Then I learned how to swim. Then I learned how to fly. You never catch me again. The way I wrestle my pen, I'll never rest in the pen. I'm too motherfucking smart and I'm fresher than them. When the pressure is in, I'm a pressure on 10. I'm like a Chinese professor, no for Chance. Lesson begins, slick talk, finesse it in. Pass the device, about to bless him again. For my wildlife, you off in the street. Hustle, hustle hard, cause the food ain't cheap. Wolves don't smile if you see teeth. It's about to get ugly. We about to eat. Hey, yo. We want that action, we want that action. 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 Yes! Maneuver like a scuba diver. In the streets like an Uber driver. Rap's Chuba Copper, you know my name, but I'm elusive. Straight out the jungle with exclusive new shit. Neighborhoods I used to hang in and changing. Got a bottom block like what I bring in them things. In. I keep my fangs in the Ryan Apple Cops, blot and trap you. Kill you on tape and escape due to a snafu. Work for life and I'm struggling. Fuck that. I hit the dip and keep rolling like a hubcap. Y'all the flex in the club cast. I'm Dwayne Johnson in the gym with the flex. Shorty love that. I'm the opposite of egg dang. Like the check, y'all are very plain. Petty game be on difficult. Y'all be stiffin' coat. Tiger was in Bobby Brown, bro, different stroke. For my wildlife, you off in the street. Hustle, hustle hard, cause the food ain't cheap. Wolves don't smile if you see teeth. It's about to get ugly. We about to eat. Hey, yo. We want that action. We want that action. We want that action. We want that action. What you want? 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 What you want?
Someone unchallenged with no world balance. Melanin superpower plus more talent. Youth wild and rebellious. Hell yes, we just fucking at the system that failed us. Gave us work and then jailed us. The cure for what ails us. Strong leadership, God body awareness. Plus, you should aspire. Be the supplier, not the buyer. Look at the ceiling, smile and aim higher. Give others the fuel to burn brighter. I got the heat for that ass, the past lighter. For my wildlife, you Hustle, hustle hard, cause the food ain't cheap. Wolves don't smile. If you see teeth, it's about to get ugly. We about to eat, hey yo. We want that action, we want that act, act. We want that action, we want that act, act. We want that action, we want that act, act. We want that action, we want that act, act. Yeah. What you, what you want, huh? What you want? What you, what you want, huh? What you, what you want, huh? What you want? What you, what you want, huh? What you, what you, what you, what you, what you want? You heard the boy, man. What you want? Action, baby. Yeah, Head yeah. crack, man. That was a fire record right there, man. Thank you so much, my brother. Yo, and like, just to get accolades and just, you know, love and energy from people like yourself, bro, it, it means a lot because I made this for the culture. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it, man. Uh, gave me the true... New York, man. I, I, I ain't. I, no, I've been to New York. No, I haven't. Never been. To, yeah, I went to Times Square one time, man. But I ain't actually get into the trenches. You know what I'm saying? But uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely reminded me and put me there, though. You know what I mean? Gave me. I know that whole Griselda f- a fan base would be feeling everything that you got going on for sure. You know what? You know what's crazy? Uh, crack. Um, I used to come up there and do the Bronx Fest back in the day. Yo, that's always a vibe. The joint is in uh, July, right? Yeah, I used to come up there and do. I used to do, when I used to rap. I, I started out as a rapper too. I used to come up there and do the Bronx Fest. Oh man, when all the Puerto Ricans used to come out, man, oh, it used to be beautiful, man. When Reebok and Nike was representing on the courts. Okay, hold on, man. I'm glad you said that, brother. Go ahead. What was your first rap name? Y'all gonna trip off this, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, y'all gonna trip off this. I thought I was deep nice. So I couldn't take D Nice name, so I named myself D Ice. <laughs> Cause when he came out with that son, just call me D Nice. I was like, hell yeah, nigga, D Ice. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, what, what, in your back. Right. What was your what was your first rap name? I my first rap name was MC Revenge. Whoa. <laughs> man, I think I lasted six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, what am I taking revenge against? And then oh, I went man. even more old school than that and started going by Rap Master Ray. Woo. Oh, man. You sound like he was back in the UTFO days. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like, yeah, I was supposed to have like five dances, <laughs> a candle that I never took off, and a finger, like a finger ring with my name spelled out. <laughs> Great. Um, album drops April 9th. What can the fans expect? Well, no, the, the event is taking place April 9th. It's a virtual viewing experience that I'm doing. If you follow me on Instagram, it's H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. The event link is in the bio. And um, listen, it's a free event. All you got to do is just click on the link and, and we'll, like, you know, get you the information you need to call up in there. We give away prizes, actual, uh, actual park prize kits, and all that other good stuff. The night of the event is going down Friday, April 9th, Eastern Standard Time. Definitely, but that's not the, APM. That's not the actual date that the album drops. That's just the event. Yo, the album is out right now, but what we're doing is a virtual viewing experience where I'm showing all the videos for the album because like every video is not out yet. Like I maybe put out like three or four videos off the project, but there's a bunch of stuff that y'all ain't seen yet that's completely a vibe. Like everybody I've been showing these visuals to been bugging out, so I'm gonna unpack it for the whole entire world. We're gonna have this fun, COVID-free virtual experience on Friday, April night. Uh, two questions real quick. What is your favorite record on the album? And what is the ladies around you favorite re- record on the album? Yo, ladies really love Save Her Life. Okay. Send it's that. a very tropical kind of vibe. Shout out to my man A1 Crash. And shout out to my people. I'll probably ride the find you, the local astronauts. They're helping me put that record together. And they love that joint. My personal favorite record on the album it's a tie, and I know that's not fair to do, but it's a tie between 
all the way lit, and thanks for the ride. Because the songs like legit make me cry sometimes, depending on what I'm listening to. See, because like just the sentimental attachment to the feelings that go into those records. Um, it just really just reminds me, like, yo, why I do this? You know what I mean? Like, you know, some people, their whole object is what they do is for money. Nah, I do this because it makes me happy, it brings me joy. And there's a lot of people who got me to this point that I'm at right now who who are no longer with us. But, you know, you know, shout out to God and the universe for, like, you know, putting people in my corner that also believe in my vision. Shout out to my manager, Anna, for, you know, picking up where some of these people have, you know, you know, like transitioned on, but you know, she helped me continue to ride. So, you know, those two songs for me, it, it just speaks volumes. Like even my verse on the All The Way That Remix is just like, yo, it's from the heart. You know what I mean? Definitely. Well, no, yeah, that's the reason I asked the question because I know sometimes when we release, when we release singles to the public, it may not necessarily be the one that you really wanted. So that's why I asked that question. I'm glad you gave an honest answer. Yo, as a person who, like, I feel like I've made a, uh, I don't know, probably, like, a, a history of, like, picking the wrong things to present to people. And, like, and, and, and I, I, I say that, I say that lastly, right? It's not that I picked the wrong record, but it's just the things that I think people will hate be the stuff that they end up loving. Like, I was on a, uh, a call with a DJ pool a couple weeks ago, and I played Riding High, which is a very high-level concept. And then the, the the compliments that I got off the record was just through the charts. And it's, it's, as an artist, it's what you do this stuff for. You know, it's not like, it's not a club record. You know, a stripper is not going to make $5,000 dancing to it. <laughs> it's just a dope high-level concept that's like told almost like, like, a, like a, a story in two parts. And these DJs who hear music for a living was like, yo, this is one of the most creative records I've ever heard. And that's it's like from a writing space, that's why we do this. Definitely, definitely. Well, before we let you get out of here, man, I'm going to let my girl Jasmine three times over here just laugh. And she ain't said a word to you, but she's just over here laughing at you. She's like, <laughs> right. I'm going to let her ask you the, the, the last question that we always ask anybody that comes on the show. Jasmine. What's your, what's your favorite cereal? No, I'm just playing. He said your favorite cereal. <laughs> your, what's your top five I'm dead sorry, or alive? Can you repeat that? Top five dead or alive. Top five dinner alive. Okay. Uh, Notorious B.I.G. Forever. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. Andre 3000. Nas. And my fifth slot changes all the time. But today, I would probably say Royce the Five Nine. Damn. So oh. you was really, so you was really, really hardcore in that beef, huh? Wow. Wow, I've never, I've, I've, I mean, never, I've never heard the list the without one or the other. I've never heard the list without one or the other. You was in that beef real deep, wasn't you? Fuck, fuck the West Either Coast. What, what, <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the beef, you talking about the beef between Royce Big, and Biggie and Pac. Biggie and Pac. He said, "Oh, you was in that. You was on the East Coast for real. You, you was in the East Coast I mean, entrenched." <laughs> Pac had. The gift and the curse of not only having a lot of great records, but he recorded so much that he recorded a lot of records that were like fairly skippable, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if I had a top 10, yeah, Pac falls into my top 10, but he's not in my personal top five. That's I fine. mean, like, if you ask me the same question tomorrow, maybe Royce is not in there and it's Slick Rick. If that's you what, ask me the question that's what ask you. a couple days from then, <laughs> maybe Childish Gambino's in there. Like, Ooh. It, it's. Somebody's always kind of like getting swapped in and out of that. But it's all about bars at the end of the day. Yeah, cause you it's, pick it's all about bars and the ability to make people feel a certain way. Like, you can't listen to Sky's the Limit by Biggie and not feel a way. True. You can't listen to Bob Low Boat by Ruth the Five Nine and not feel a way. Um, who else did I mention in that list? Um, I mentioned, like, Andre 3000. She lives in my lap. If I had a time machine, I would steal that song and put it out before he could. Like, she lives in my lap. It was the greatest record ever written. That's dope. That's dope. Well, man, we appreciate you so much, man, for calling in Speaker Lakers, man. You are our first interview on Spotlight Wednesdays, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? I'm so happy. <laughs> he's, a, he's stupid. <laughs> But you are our first interview on Spotlight Wednesdays. We appreciate you so much, man. Let the fans know where they can find you at and where they can find the album. 
Well, listen, man, I'm easy to find, like, bad news, man. H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K, all social media. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, click the link in the bio so you can pull up to my event. It's popping on Friday, April 9th. It's Action Park, the virtual beauty experience. And also check out my podcast, which is called Head Crack After Hours. You can wherever you check out podcasts. And, of course, listen to the album Action Park. And when you see these videos at the virtual viewing experience, you'll be like, oh, wow. He really like painted that picture the way it sounded on the record. So that's the vibe I want to create, man. So thanks for your opportunity and shout out to y'all. Let's get it. Definitely awesome, man. Make sure you send us that link, man, so we can tap in. Oh yeah, follow us it's back too. Down. I mean, T-R-E-K-U-L, Jasmine, three times. I'm about to follow you right now. Make sure you hit that follow back. You already know, Speaker League is underscore worldwide. I already, I already follow you too. Make sure you follow us back, man. And uh, we do, I do listen to you a lot on 107.9, The Morning Hustle. So we wake up to you, man. I, I appreciate the, even on the uh, radio personality side, you feel me? Yo, I, I appreciate the love, man. And I appreciate the energy, you know, that y'all bring to what y'all do as well. Can't wait to link up again in person. Yes, sir. Definitely. Let's get it, man. That was the man head crack right there, man, doing his thing. We're going to get back into some music. We'll be right back with you with the listening party coming up at 6. Aaron on the key. Album on deck right now, Miss Jackson. We'll get right back with you. Let's go. Shut up, somebody. I can see your fucking I know you will. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. Hmm. Cause I know you will. Hey, huh. like I won't do no hate cause I know you will So who's close with me, Lou Will Big bank roll, all new bills About to buy a real, cost me two mil About to get you dropped, that don't cost nothing Cost syrup in my pop, still don't cost nothing uh, If it ain't no weight, I ain't lost nothing uh, I don't do no weight, you bitch, if I'm boss bumming uh, I'm wrong with dog, you must be off something uh, can't tell what he y'all, but better I'll show uh, Like, as soon as he gets started, better I stop it uh, We got sticks in the party playing hockey uh, We got pills in the party, Bill Cosby uh, Bad babes in the trap hotel lobby uh, This drug in the dance with me, Bobby uh, Beyonce with this